guys welcome to my channel today i have a get to know me tag so i never really did a get to know me tag on this channel i did like a zambian tag which was more like a get to know me tag so today i am coming back with an an update get to know me tag because i feel like the family is growing obviously when i did a zambian tag i had few few followers but now the family is growing and i get a lot of questions before we jump into this video if you haven't noticed i have changed my youtube name to bougie fresh it's not twalia kalinga anymore and the reason why i have changed this into bougie fresh i just thought like it would be easier for a lot of you because all my social media handle is bougie fresh which you should follow me on tiktok and instagram obviously before deciding to change my youtube name to bougie fresh i had to do a lot of thinking uh back forward to last year before i decided to do youtube i had to decide if i want to brand myself as bougie fresh or just my name there's a lot of precious kalengas on uh youtube so walia kalenga was the most unique one so i had to do a lot of thinking i remember like uh contacting my sisters if i should switch my youtube name from walia kalenga to bougie fresh and uh my older sister kanyambo was like is that how you want to brand yourself as bougie fresh instead of like precious kalenga or walia kalenga and i'm like yes my youtube channel is going to be bougie fresh but my name is still precious walia kalinga so if you are new here yes my youtube channel used to be walia kalinga which is my middle and last name but now i am bougie fresh if you don't get where the bougie fresh is coming from i'll get into that later so a few weeks ago i put it on my instagram story send me some questions and i will respond on my channel get to know me tag for my new subscribers it was actually surprised you guys i actually got like a, quite a few questions i wasn't expecting all these questions but i got a, a lot of questions the first question this is just from me to you guys i know a lot of you are obviously wondering why bougie fresh a few years ago at work uh, one of my co-workers at work every time she sees me she'll be like oh my god you are so bougie every time i come in to work what, what if i'm looking cute i'm looking good she'll just be like okay bougie fresh okay fresh i never even took it serious until like maybe last year in the middle of the pandemic i decided to go for bougie fresh and for fresh fresh is my nickname my name is precious and if you are zambian you are obviously aware that zambian we have a shortcut for each and every name so growing up i didn't really love any of the shortcut that they used to give uh call me my name is precious and all the shortcuts that uh they used to call me i despise them people would call me pule pressure stuff like that and i didn't really love them i i hated those i would prefer like people call me by my middle name which is separate then one day my brother called me fresh and i thought it was really cool but i didn't get to use it until i went to high school i went to kablonga girls high school for about two to three months before i came to the u.s and the first day of school i was hanging out with this cool girls that i thought they were cool and at break time we went to kablonga boys campus because kablonga girls and kablonga boys they are right next to each other we went to kablonga girls campus uh, kablonga boys campus and people were just like asking each other and i didn't really know at that time uh aka at that time was like into was very popular when you ask somebody like what's your name they'll be like oh my name is blah 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 aka blah 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 so I didn't even I didn't even want an AK. But I never care for it. By that day, I, th I thought like, okay, these girls are cool and these guys are cool, and I wanted to be cool. I guess it was peer pressure. So everybody sent their names like, oh, my name is blah 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 blah, AKA blah 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 blah. Then I just went like, oh, my name is Precious, AKA Presh. <laughs> so that's how I I I uh, became like fresh or whatever then fast forward came to the u.s i never really get to use like fresh and when i um when i finally get on uh ig for the longest time on ig i was calling myself uh walia or nine then maybe two maybe two or three years ago i decided to switch it to fresh or nine then last year because of my co-worker slash friends at work i decided to switch it to bougie fresh 
So that's how it goes, Bougie Presh. I'm obviously called Bougie because I'm obviously Bougie. I'm a Bougie person. I'm like extra, extra, extra. So I took that Bougie and Presh and put it together. So here we go, you have a Bougie Presh. <laughs> Not a question, but you are a super mom. I admire you. You guys, this is so cute. Oh my God, thank you so much. This means, this means a lot. Like my daughter, she's everything. And I don't want to cry, but this is thank you. The second question is like, why YouTube? Why YouTube? For the longest time, I think since I was like a freshman year in college, I've always wanted to do YouTube, but I was always insecure about how my voice sound on record or on camera. I remember like freshman year of college, one day I got up, took my phone and I'll pretend, not even pretend, like I would full record a video and do like a room, a dorm room tour. I'll have the video, edit the video on high movie, but I never had like that motivation to post it. I was obsessed with YouTube since high school. I would watch like what's in my bag videos, room tour, house tours, because I'm very into interior design. So like videos like room tours, house tour, apartment tours, videos like that. I love, love. I remember when I, when I first got my first apartment, I would do the same thing too. I would record like my entire apartment, but I wasn't into like YouTube. So fast forward to last year, year before the pandemic hit. So two of my other friends at the time approached me, me and uh, Diana, my other friend. They wanted to do a YouTube channel and we were both on board. So um, then the pandemic hit, me and my friends, we started a YouTube group and the amount of love that we received it was phenomenal. Two months after being on YouTube, I decided to do like a little like um, what I use, what product I use on my kid, on my daughter, and my daughter she wasn't even one at the time. And I did like a uh, Instagram. I don't think it was Rails or whatever it was. I posted it on Instagram, and I received so much good comments. I remember people DMing me saying like, "You should be on YouTube. You should do this." And again, I want to talk to my sisters because my sisters, I tell my sisters everything. I want to talk to my sisters and my sisters were like, yeah, you should do it. You should go for it. And I didn't even think about it twice. I started doing YouTube. Maybe to answer your question, I would say like starting that group YouTube channel with my friend boosted up my confidence. And I am very grateful for my friends and our YouTube channel. So here I am. Bougie Press is here. How do you balance time? Being a full-time mom, a girlfriend, full, a girlfriend work and YouTube. I don't even know how I balance time because being a mom is a full-time job. It's a 24-7 job and YouTube is time-consuming job as well. And on top of that, being somebody else's girlfriend, like somebody else is depending on you. So like how I balance my time. I don't even know how to say that. I work like Tuesday through Saturday. So on those days where I am off, I try to balance time. Between those two days when I am off, and if I don't have any backup like videos uploading, I'll try to film my contact. And I won't edit it on this. I won't edit it on the same day. Then I'll just find time to hang out with, with Kelsey, whether it's taking out of the park, swim school, or just like doing a hair, sitting, laying on the bed, doing nothing, as long as I am present. My daughter, she's very like intelligent. So like whenever we are sitting down watching TV and I'm on my phone, she doesn't like that because she likes her full attention. So I divide myself. It's if I'm gonna spend like two hours on filming, I'm gonna spend that two hours on filming. And after that, it's just going to be like mom life. And if I'm going out, like if I'm going to run out errands and do stuff, sometimes I'll take her with me because that's how we spend our one-on-one -on -one time. And as my boyfriend and I, we try as much as possible to go on a date night twice a month. Twice a month, it could be like a date night at home, hanging out, just drinking wine. And we watch a lot of TV shows together. Like we love the same TV shows. I'm so grateful that I have a village of support system, whether it's my sisters, my aunties, my boyfriend's mom, they are always willing to babysit Kelsey. I can call any of my sisters, I'm like, hey, 
next Monday I have a date night my sisters they'll never say no to me they'll watch Kelsey that's their baby I call my boyfriend's mom then she will watch Kelsey she also babysit Kelsey while both my boyfriend and I goes to work so I am very grateful I don't really know how to answer your question but I just balance my time I have on this day, this how many hours I'm gonna film and this how many hours I'm gonna spend it with Kelsey. I also love to schedule in advance. I know like, okay, on next Monday, I am off. I am probably going to film, then I'll take Kelsey to the zoo. And if I don't feel, if I don't, if I don't have like a sit down contact video to film, I'll do like a vlog. And whatever we are doing on that day, whether, whether I'm taking her to the zoo, whatever I'm doing, I'm gonna try to record that yeah so that's how i balance time as a full-time mom but youtube is difficult youtube is hard this is blood sweat and tears i don't even know how i make it you guys so whenever you see a video from me thank god thank god that that video made it and make sure you like you subscribe and you comment everything above because this is not easy you guys oh my god you guys our marriage and more kids in the future at kelsey Afuna Kajunia. <laughs> oh Lord. Let me read this again. A marriage and more kids in the future at Kelsey Afuna Kajunia. So if you don't if you don't understand the last part, because this is uh this is Nyanja. So Kelsey wants a junior. <laughs> Kelsey wants a younger siblings, pretty much. No, uh yes and no. Yes. Yes or no? Oh, 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 no, you can't speak it. Oh, because I am, I am not in a rush to get married. But when that happens, when it's time, it could be tomorrow. When the brother pop a question, I'll say yes. But I am not in a rush. I am enjoying my time. I am enjoying me being me. And as far as kid, I never say never. But for now one kid is all i can handle for now one kid is enough but maybe one day i would love to have like three more children or two more children because i really see myself as a boy mom so maybe one day but the next coming years the next coming years i don't see myself popping out any more babies not a question oh i love the authenticity of your channel thank you thank you thank you i am evolving i am evolving i think i am loving this youtube thing you guys and comments like this just boost up my motivation i am glad that you guys are loving my youtube channel so thank you so much what thing have you ever done that require a lot of courage from you one thing that required a lot of courage for me was probably telling my sisters that I was expecting at 22 because I really look up to my sisters. So like for me to go tell them that I was expecting at 22 years old, that was quite difficult because I felt like I was disappointing them. And honestly, the reaction I got from them wasn't what I was expecting but that required a lot of courage for me to do this is funny because my co-worker sent me this actually who's your favorite co-worker whoever sent me this she's my favorite co-worker oh you know yourself <laughs> what inspires you what inspires me it's my baby my baby girl inspires me like at only two years old she's the smartest like intelligent kid i have ever met and it's so very fascinating like what she's able to do at two years old only and she inspires me she's my motivation I, so my child inspires me she inspires me to be a better version of myself she inspires me to be a better mom she inspires me my child is my biggest inspiration you guys all time favorite song all time favorite song that's so hard because i have a lot of all time favorite song ah that's so hard ah, that's so hard that's so hard all time i have a lot but on top of my head i'll just pick like 
Beyonce, if I were a boy. Ten, 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 ten. Can't even sing. I'm not a very good singer, but that's my all time favorite song, you guys. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? I think I'll go to Morocco. I've always wanted to go to Morocco. Maybe one day in the nearby future, I'll go to Morocco. What's something people wouldn't guess about you? What's something that people wouldn't guess about me? I am actually mean, you guys. I can be mean as I can be. <laughs> I can be I can be a full mean girl you guys and this doesn't happen often like you get you give what you get so if somebody gives me wrong vibe if somebody doesn't like me I'm gonna be mean like I can be mean like I feel so bad to all the people that they have experienced me being mean because I can be mean I know it I can be mean. I don't care who you are. If you're just being rude to me, if you're not being nice to me, I'm going to be mean. Last question from this. What is your favorite designer purchase? My favorite designer purchase. I have <laughs> I have a lot of designer purchase. Obviously, I'm like quite a fashionista. But my favorite designer purchase so far. Let me grab it to you. Let me show you guys my so far. Yeah, so I have a lot of favorite designers, but so far what has been my favorite uh, designer purchases has been my black owned businesses. And one of them is just this uh, Brandon Black hood uh, purse. And this was a birthday gift from me to me. Of yes, I'm one of those people who loves to buy themselves gifts. So this was one of my, this is one of my, favorite designer patches so far another one is my Telfizi so they're both black owned that's why they are my favorite designer patches right now so here we are you guys hope you enjoyed this video please leave me in your comments down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i'll see you next time <laughs>